Let's make our way to the top of Montrachet now for the first of our quarterfinals, and it is a rematch for Ben Ferguson and Mikkel Bang of the Yeti Natural Selection 2021 Alaska final. Two of the most experienced riders in Alaskan terrain, and it is that whopping lump of Norwegian timber, Mikkel Bang, who's going to go first. Six foot two, he's riding a 170 Burton Custom, and he knows what he wants to do here. Yeah, I think coming in here, you know, winning last year and then, you know, people definitely are like, all right, champ is back. You got to defend the title. And then you're just like, oh, <laughs> OK, got to got to do my best, you know. So it's definitely a little bit more pressure, you know, people's got people got their eyes on me, you know. But uh, whatever happens, happens. We're here to have a good time and snowboard and uh, we're going to have a good time regardless. Baldface and Jackson, you kind of have this like, like one venue right there. But Alaska is like the mountain kind of wraps around things. You might be looking at something and it, it shrinks or it just gets bigger. So it's kind of, it's a little bit harder here. You know, you, you can only see photos and you can only like fly around to look at it and scope. Um, so you definitely, it's, it's harder in Alaska you know, to choose a line. Well, yeah, Burton, Burton has become kind of like my family. Uh, they uh, they really do care about their riders and they really care about the snowboarding community. And uh, yeah, being a part of Burton is just, uh, it's a blessing for sure. Burton, of course, the official hard goods sponsor of the entire tour this year. And Mikkel's been a part of the Burton family since he was in grade school. Yeah. And he's been cranking results since 2002, video parts since 2003. And now he is at the top of the natural selection tree, reigning Alaskan champion, dropping into the face, the first man to open up Montrachet. Mikkel, of course, has just such fluid style. He really interacts with ter the terrain in a very natural way. I mean, he almost makes it look easy when we know this terrain is incredibly not that way. And this snow is absolutely perfect. The first glimpse of it getting ridden and he comes up to his first feature, tucks away a nose bone there into a front side three nose bone. He puts it down perfectly. I mean, this is a phenomenal way to open up this semifinals riding right now. And I always feel with Mikel, it's, it's as if he knows how to measure his runs and build steadily with them. He always does his own thing on the face. He's not looking at what other people are doing. He's following his own cues. I completely agree. We saw that in Jackson uh, the last two years. We saw that in Baldface. He's constantly building upon the beta that he gets every time he drops in. So he's got right into the gut in between spine four and five there. Coming up high. Getting around for a bit of a butter three on that. Okay, and then that last feature, just a nice ollie there. So we know that the judges are gonna use this as an anchor. So the score that we see here is the tone that they're setting for the day. And it was, for me, there was a lot of intensity up at the top of that run, but then it just kind of drifted away a little in the guts of that shoot at the bottom. I agree. <laughs> I think that it's a solid foundation, not only for the day, but oh, for Mikkel himself, fine. that he'll build upon in his second drop. And we always see that. He, t he puts a run down, it's almost like a range finder, and then he starts to push in that second run. That's a great way to put it. Okay, next up, standing next to that fluttering planet Earth flag, the man out of Bend, Oregon, a precision pipe rider, Ben Ferguson getting on tour and coming to all the stops and making it to Alaska is a, you know, feat in itself. So I'm hyped to be here. Definitely like this kind of terrain, like the big steep stuff. And I think I'll, I got a pretty good chance up there. So, I mean, it's crazy. It's this big, scary place and you're flying around in a helicopter and, you know, the, the whole thing is like nerve gripping, you know, kind of puckered up the whole time. Feel it in your stomach when the heli starts chopping around and, and then you're like competing on top of that. So that adds a whole nother like element to the nerves as well. Yeah, winning in Alaska, I think it would just be like the most badass thing you could do. You know, it's kind of like the the beefiest tour stop. It would be kind of the, you know, and I'll be all. 
you said it, Ed, Ben is one of the most experienced riders here in AK, but he's one of the younger riders too, only 26 years old. What's interesting, they're both on Burton as well. Mikel's on that custom, Ben opting for the one of the family tree line, the hometown hero. Really aggressive taper on it. So it's definitely going to limit his switch capability on this face, but he's coming in. Totally different intensity to Mikel. Like you can see the energy, the drive he's putting into this. Yeah, he was really energetic on that top section and then opening up this new rider's left area. Okay, and now he comes on. We called it before that bowling ball section and he's coming in with speed here. He knows where he is. And there's got to be the benefit of riding this face in 2021. Good steep terrain and you can see him working over this spine now. Ben really has that combination of power and playfulness and I think it's it's very impressive to see that on his first drop oh, heading toward that a massive drop. Don't forget that the drone footage also kind of compresses things a little bit, that that is very big and even steeper than it looks to us. And that second drop there straight off the nose. And he's right up on the end of that one. He has to get that speed right. He tranny finds perfectly. Wow. Beautiful backside 360. That was a phenomenal end to that run. I mean, that really capitalized on that second section of his line. Take a break. Let's take a breath and recap on this heat. So Mikel Bang, it felt like he came in at about gas mark four. It was really a middling run by Mikel's standards. Some really nice stuff in here. I think that was like testing out the snow, testing out the drop in. He was the, the first to go, opening up everything. I mean, of course, a beautiful 360 though, classic style from the Norwegian. That's bread and butter for him, but the door's open for Ben Ferguson. He's seen the snow, he knows what he wants here, and he really lets go. I mean, Ben really was kind of like, you know, unleashed the wild horses right on that run. He came out, with, like you said, with so much energy. And then this angle really shows you this impressive three drop that he did. And he managed to get that toe edge in perfectly. It would have been very easy to mess up that line and drop below it there with that gradient. And that beautiful transition landing. I mean, that was perfect. And then finishes it with that back three, floaty. Every, every landing we get here, we're getting more and more data on just how good this snow is. So last year's finalist here in Alaska. So taking a seat and waiting for the scores from Connor Manning and Sandy McDonald. Man, I, I spoke to Sandy McDonald earlier in the week and he said oh, really? judging without sight, without practice, is one of the most terrifying things he's ever done. And they're put on the spot. First run there with two very strong runs. Yeah, I don't envy the judges at all. They have their work cut out for them at every stop, especially this one. But uh, th that speaks to exactly what we saw. Ben Ferguson with the energy, with the tricks, oh, yeah. and with the exposure at the top of that run, taking out a 78 over Bang 70. So That thing is big. Yeah. <laughs> it that definitely was, that looked it. Like, that was really, really sick. So, but we've seen this from Mikel before. He'll always range find, and we'll expect to see that second run really ratcheted up. Time to get the men's quarterfinals second runs underway. And we start with that repeat of last year's final. Mikel Bang up against Ben Ferguson. Mikel dropping in first. And he's got some work to do here, Mary. Yes, Mikkel, of course, opened up the competition today. But I think the one point that you brought up, Ed, that's so important is that he really builds upon whatever he is doing as opposed to reacting to other riders when he's competing. Yeah, he, he knows where he wants to go. And it's almost like that first run's given him the speed, the angles that he needs to attack in the terrain. And I, I want to see some big, I expect to see some big, big tricks from Mikkel here. Like, that is very nice uh, front one. Switch back five. Oh, he's gone down a little, but he's up. I think that's going to be an incidental uh, crash there. Yes, I agree. Little agree smear. With that. I don't think they're going to kill him on that, especially because he linked the front one into that like couple of switch turns. Difficult takeoff. Beautiful front side air right there. I'm fascinated by this run because I feel like this this guts of the shoot kills the momentum of the run at the end, but. Mikhail, he's committed to it. Clean frontside 360 right there. Got that no classic Euro tweaking style as well. You can almost hear his bindings creaking. He's got so much leverage with those long legs. 
Very, very strong run for Mikhail Bank. And we, we talked about it. We knew we were going to see something big, but switch back five in the middle of an yeah. Alaskan face. I mean, that's... That's money right there. That's so gnarly, so technical. And he really does make it look like it's almost an afterthought, just very casual, just kind of does it off the cuff. Well, everyone always talks about it. Like, big guys, they can make snowboarding look hard, but it's always effortless with Mikel. Okay, back up to the top. 2018, he was fourth place in Pyeongchang with a devastatingly creative pipe run. But since then, he's transferred all of that edge control, all of that beautiful creativity effortlessly into the backcountry. And I, I feel like at the moment, this quarterfinal is, is the pendulum swinging in Ben's favor. Yes, I agree. He came in very, very strong. I mean, we, that energy, that explosiveness, this explosiveness, excuse me, that he entered into his run with, I expect we're going to see that and then some for this one. Okay, same again, heading out to the left-hand side here. And he's, look at the speed he's carrying already. Like, there's no brakes at all through this first section. Yeah, he is just motoring method off of that first drop. But you keep in the back of your mind that that all of these riders now know, since Baldface, that switch riding, any combos of tricks that link 180s, 540s are gonna score really highly. And I'd love to see Ben starting to sniff around some of those combos. And we know he's capable of it, like his switch McTwist in his pipe run was a thing of beauty. It was the sort of crowning figurehead at the end of that run. Okay, here he comes into that drop section. I mean, that's a massive drop right there. Oh, and he's carrying speed through there. Oh. Stalled a tiny bit, but new nose, opening up some fresh terrain. Oh! Wow! And that was a little, the landing was a little bit too flat for the ambition of the jump. Huge oh, back three. Massive three. Wow, getting that around, that was enormous. So a huge run, a little bit loose but very, very impressive nonetheless. Opening up fresh terrain as well. We know that that starts to max out the creativity bar from the judges. Completely, they really want to see that. I mean, there's also that risk challenge of that because no one has written that. You don't have a good sense of exactly, you know, what the landings are like, what you're going to be dropping into in that situation. Okay, so at the moment, Ben Ferguson sat on a 78, Mikel Bang on a 70. Mikel stepped it up, but he did it in a line that he'd already tasted. It was, it was, it was fresh fruit for Ben Ferguson out to the left-hand side. But that switch backside spin, I mean, I think that that is going to skyrocket his score for And the it was judges. linked. Look at that. He got the grab, the composure on the front one yeah. there. That's really difficult to land on that toe edge switch and set up. I mean, I think that is going to be real jet fuel for his score. 100% yeah, you've called it there. That was just, glorious so as well, wasn't it? smooth. I mean, this was and this it, was very strong. Everyone struggled on their heels up that takeoff. It's a natural takeoff. It's bobbling, you're on your heels. And Mikhail's popped like it was a big, wide takeoff. And Ben had authority in his run. He was really riding very smoothly, but he just didn't have that same element of, of tricks that, that Mikkel brought. I mean, that was... Gosh, that was just enormous, though. I'm wondering, looking at it from that drone angle, it almost looks like he's gone either a tiny bit too far or a tiny bit too short. Yeah. He landed in the bottom of that transition and it just, the impact was too much to take. Two meters shorter, two meters longer, he might have made that. Okay, school's coming in. 77 for Mikel. It's one point shy of Ben Ferguson. So the result is reversed from the finals last year. Ben Ferguson will advance to the semi finals. Wow, that was uh, a kind of the definition of a nail biter right there. Oh my goodness. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. That is what we're here for. That is what all of us have come to watch. 